Alrighty, time for some mountain bike action. Right on from Tully Lister straight away. Good to see Tully on board here. Okay, I'm on the mountain bike already as I head out to the steering course. Uh, the audio is going to be a bit weird for this one because I'm a little further away from the microphone so I can show you the steering as it takes place. See, I've moved the bike back a little bit to show a little bit more. So we'll see how this goes. Good morning, Robert. How are you? How, how are we? How are we? How are you? Just catching my breath here at 145 doing a warm up. And I was hoping to put off hill, put the phone up where it is normally to run the companion app and have the steering app on here, but they're one and the same. So I've had to rig up the camera or the the phone that's on the bike with all these wires and things so it can stream. M9 ing on, how you doing mate? Such a good trainer warm up list. It's on and off and on and off. How will this work with smart bikes? It won't. It straight up won't, not like this. It'll work like this with buttons with smart bikes. Well, the current ones anyway, as we know them right now, that could very well change. Now, I don't have steering on at this point, I'm not on the course. Uh, yeah, Lazy Susan, I've got it on. $10 solution. Uh, the Cam Jeffers drama discussed in the podcast that I'll be chopping up editing this afternoon. If you have any specific questions about that, but generally overall, uh, I think everything has been said that needs to be said about that by everyone else. If you have any specific questions in relation to anything I've said in the past regarding rules, regulations, and all that, I'm happy to answer specific questions on that. I have discussed rules, regulations, and enforcement for years in regards to esports. So, it's probably one of the first times we've seen sanctions really come down hard. Will my lazy Susan work with other trainers? Yeah, for sure. I'm on a trainer that I haven't used with one before. It's fine. That's because all standard trainers are the same at the back end. Oh, speaking of back ends, this is a pain in the ass. Oh. All right. I should have warmed up before I live streamed. <laughs> I still have my Giant Power Pro, the MY19, and the MY20 version of that. Um, outdoors, they're okay now with the firmware. Indoors, they're a Shimano power meter, so you're gonna get that right side coupling effect issue. And a bit of power discrepancies in uh, erg mode. I have used rocker plates for a number of Zwift sessions. Um, not on every ride though, so, and no longer. So they're, for me, they don't do it for me. I've done two videos on rocker plates to date and my experience as an experienced cyclist indoors and out about the experience of rocker plates. Focusing a lot on the out of the saddle uh, characteristics of them. Oh, by the way, Dave, I did a power uh, bat battery test on the Power Pro and it lasted 116 hours or 114 hours non stop usage. Jonathan asked, Why am I not watching the NRL Grand Final? Because I'm from a southern state where NRL does not exist. Real footy involves meat pies and handballs and kicks. It's just, I'm from country Victoria, so NRL's not a thing. All right, where's this road course gonna end? Are we around the corner? It's really strange. Uh, somebody asked the other day about the, was it Australia and Wales match? Rugby, Union, League? 
super non. I, I don't know. Um, it's just a non, a non thing. It's just just the way it is. Just the way it has. Mini Llama asks Todd. Mini Llama is awesome. Mini Llama's legs do not stop like kicking. So 500 meters. Thanks, Kevin. Kiva, kick Kiva. Here we go. Quick turn. Bang, all right. This is what it's about. Have I ever used, or will I ever use the FSA power box? If I can get a hold of one for sure. Was the power box the power meter that was quite cheap early on? And then you pay for the additional features such as power smoothness, pedal, pedal analysis, etc. Okay, here we go. On the course, if you haven't seen it just yet, if you haven't seen my ride through, boom. Now it comes up here. I like that do not, you know, not now is auto select. No, no, let's go, let's go. It needs to be default, let's go. Okay, center my bars. Done, done, you can see the bars I've got there on screen. People were asking about the re uh, reaction time with this and how sensitive it was. So hopefully this will give a bit of an indication of this. I'm in, am using my iPhone 6. Let me switch back to, and it will be probably steering the wrong way on the screen. Oh, hands on the bars, dude. It's a bit sensitive with the iPhone 6. I'll give it that. But it takes concentration. I still have to pedal the thing. Ah. And these camera angle changes, that, that one there where it throws you over the handlebars, that got me the first time I use it. Okay. Nice line. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I didn't. Yeah, no full stars on that. Sensitivity is probably a little bit high, but I'll, I'll keep cracking on with this. Uh, someone on a Tron bike. How about that? A bit rough. Oh, come on, come on. A bit rough. I reckon that guy ahead on a Tron bike is going a bit rough. Uh, okay, one thing I've just noticed, I can't get to the questions while I'm mountain biking. <laughs> Dude, you're, I gotta beat this guy. Now what you're seeing is people on other road bikes, I don't know why, but by default, you can't sell as it stands. Other riders on course aren't shown, oh runner, aren't shown as being on mountain bikes. Oh, that's weird, that was a little bit of a flick of the center, I think. No, Tron bike. We can't be beaten by a Tron. <laughs> oh, I'm in Struggle Street now. And then it goes up. Crunch, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the trainer is crunching. That threw the accelerometer out on the handlebars. Aren't trainers meant to be silent? <laughs> Drunk cyclist up. Yeah, good line. I'm cooked already, again on this course. Oh yeah, what the fruitcake. Okay, I'm going to turn the sensitivity down. My other phone was much better with this. Sim mode. So what was happening, I'm just riding along all of a sudden, foof, off to the right. The phone is mounted okay. Yeah, I'm drunk as a skunk on this thing, look at this. Heave. Lucky I ain't the mountain bike my first ride through. That was a much better experience with the other iPhone. 7%, yeah, I'm feeling that. Crunch. And turn. Okay. That sensitivity seems to have fixed a few things. Turn. 
It's pretty quick to respond. I'll give it that, given it's over IP. Not direct Bluetooth or anything. My eyes are wide open, I'm beady because I'm trying to hook it. Oh, come on. How tough is that? Ten. Ten. Drop. There's so much more going on with this. Thank you, nice line. Hey, come on, a bad workman always blames their tools. <laughs> no, but that, there's a difference. See, right there, that twitch, that wasn't happening. I'm un. Fuck's sake. See, there's, that must be drift. The bars are straight. Anyway, well, solds are on. It is what it is. That's the iPhone 6. Same mount, same position as the um, <clears throat> the 10s that I had the other day, which is here. Pick a plank. Stay straight, little dude. Sweet. Oof. I'm trying to be sort of careful on the pedals so I don't go flying off the side. Hey, come on. Okay, we're on the moon surface now. Oh yeah, I looked, I looked at the questions and uh, hit the corner. If you have the companion app, you can load it up and give me a ride on, you'll see it come up on screen. McShane. Good stuff, G McShane. Oh yeah, let's just go to the, let's have a picnic there. Let's go for a picnic over there. Uh, this is real. This is the real climbing part. Rider up. Oh, what is this? Relentless. I'm not going to reach for my towel. Now the sensitivity is a bit better. Woof! It does spike though. I'm coming for you, on the way. Oh, except there's a hill on the way. Damn! So much for a casual Sunday night ride through. This is the hard part coming up. Oh, Ottawa's on the stomp. Damn! I'll get to the questions when I have some breath. This is challenging. Inside line. Oh no! Straight! You little bugger, go! Yeah, I'm, I've drifted 
You see my bars. I'm steering real weird. The accelerometer has drifted. Boom. That's tough. I've said a few times, the steering is just a game, but that makes you work. <laughs> Siri kicks in again. If you saw my other video of the ride through, as I was talking, I said something and Siri thought I'd summon Siri. Must be my Aussie accent when I'm under the pump. Okay, I'll go do another lap. Uh, yeah, that was pretty crap. I am interested. Thank you. Hopefully they've got logs. I'll just spawn under the ground. Hopefully they had the logs of what devices that I used. That was the iPhone 6. It's an older device. Breathe, yeah. I think I forgot to breathe there. Hang on, what just... Yeah, you know worries. Anyone for a donut? See, people wanted a velodrome in Zwift. I found one, it's right here. Except we're going the wrong way. What's going on here? So FutureWorks is effectively a beta. Let's go with that. Because at the moment, this is going to be awesome on Strava. Is it still racking up the Ks though? That's the question. Let's do a kilometre on the velodrome. On a mountain bike. Don't think I'm going far enough for it to register as anything, but like, why not? Donuts. Ben. Ben's handing out the donuts. <laughs> I can't. I'm locked in. Time for a drink. Mm. It is going up. This Strava's going to look awesome. The percentage isn't changing. Big ring donuts. How fast can we go? <laughs> yeah, get into it. Send it. Woo! Woo! Let's do it. Yeah! Get into it. Go, little llama. All right. <laughs> Toast, all right. Okay, let's try and break out of this by doing a U-turn. Oh. I'm not going to have to finish the live stream like this, am I? I really am. Uh, this is fun. I'll try and press the U-turn here. Did that get me out of anything? I mean, at least I could U-turn the other direction. No, I'm... Right, well, today's live stream may be cut a little short because all I'm doing here is cutting some grass on a mountain bike and I'm locked into that. Any questions, fire away. Um, I think we're shagged here for the rest of the ride. I was going to do two laps. 22 minutes in and I'm locked. If anyone feels like joining me for a few circles, you can probably log in and ride with GP Llama and we can maybe get a bit of a draft going in circles and maybe take off and take off to another planet or something. Uh, do a bike change. Ooh, Lee. Good call, let's give that a shot. Menu settings. Where are we? I've got to stop, don't I, to get to the... Oh, I, it, that's interesting. So workouts is not selected. Oh, don't be in it, don't be in it. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I've almost done a kilometer in circles. Uh, not that one, so menu, garage. Drop shop. No, we want frames, don't we? I mean, I'm gonna pick a topical frame to ride. Let's go. Okay, I'm on the Swift Tronny bike. We're doing Tron. Don't do Tron circles. Don't do Tron circles. Oh God damn it! Can you? 
What if I disconnect the client? Kill the client. So now I'm gonna have the client running. Welcome to my debug session of getting stuck in a circle. Quick, someone pull a turn. Yeah, yeah, elbow, someone pull a turn. I'm shagged. Ah, uh, hmm. All right, well, because this is the way it is, I'm gonna ride in circles until we get to at least half an hour, because I don't wanna waste a session by getting pissed off that this has taken place. So let's just go to the chat. If uh, anyone wants to have a, any questions, any uh, comments, have a chat about what's going on. I'm just gonna go in circles because I'm not gonna waste a good ride by having to log out and log back in and spam everyone's Strava speeds. And I do think this is gonna look pretty funny on Strava once we get done. Uh, but let's look even more ridiculous by choosing another bike. That sucks. At least my kilometers are going up. It's about hours and powers. Um, I'm not on the kicker bike at the moment. I'm on my bike. Kicker bike doesn't quite do this just yet. Uh, <laughs> garage. Frame, what do we go for? Let's go something redonkulous. Level 50. Are these? This is the frames that I have. Where's the crappiest frame? We'll do some circle work with it. No, oh, TT bike now. Cool. Old Steely. Old Steely in the grass. It's bizarre, isn't it? Why it's a chosen to do that for me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll put the circle work in small things. This is going to be uh, seven minutes of live chat, so go for you. you don't have to watch above. I'll just go straight to the chat. So I'm currently stuck in orbit at the moment around some kind of magical weed or magical mushroom there on Watopia. Um, whoa, it's doing my head in as well. Is there any way to use SRAM Axis on a kicker 18? Asked Nigel Edwards. I believe there is. The Trek Sigafredo women's team had it at the Giro Rossa. They had 12 speeds. Sorry, they had 12 speeds on the Neo. Kicker 18, I think it's going to be the same. It can't be any different. So, does the kicker bike feel more like a Neo or a kicker 2018? Asks Tom. The, the kicker bike feels like a kicker bike. Because it's belt driven, it is super smooth. And there's no chain, there's no, there's a bit of clunk in the gear, like that, in the gear changes. But there, it's just a little different. I'm catching my own draft. <laughs> Thankfully it's not telling you to speed up. <laughs> Take a U-turn, doesn't work, Sam, I'll give that a try. So yeah, so the kicker bike feels like a kicker bike. Does it feel like riding a bike? Yeah, but really, really smooth because of that belt drive. And slamming down through the gears is awesome. Uh, what do I prefer, the Kicker or the Neo in regards to the direct drive trainer? Kicker for racing and training. Uh, and sim mode Neo for testing power meters. And the Neo holds erg pretty well. Um, I can race and train on either. Preferences towards the Kicker with that flywheel. Um, you can't go wrong with either, really. Just waiting for the next update for the Neo 2T to tame down the erg mode issues that came with that. Still going in circles. Um, companion app. <laughs> and I am going through, I'm committed, I'm committed to getting this ride done. Steering would not work on the kicker bike by turning the handlebars just yet, unless they come out with a new stem or head tube that has a bit of steer in it. The kicker bike has buttons on the inside, which would work perfectly for what we just saw. <clears throat> if integrated well. Uh, Nath, Nath, I'm stuck in orbit at the moment. I've done the mountain bike course. I'm currently cutting weeds. And I'm stuck in a loop. Rather than quit out of Zwift and rage quit and go and do something else, I'm getting a full half hour session in. So I'm good to ride tomorrow. I can't U-turn either. Termi 93, thinking about upgrading my direct drive fluid non-smart train to a kicker core or a Flux S. The core is around $200 Australian, more expensive than the tax. Is it worth it though? Uh, ride feel, yes. 
The kicker core is based on the kicker, the original kicker from 2014, kicker 16 and kicker 17. The kicker core is effectively a kicker 17, the third gen kicker that's quiet. Uh, different mounts, different sort of legs on the thing. But if you close your eyes and rode hard, you wouldn't really tell any difference. You'd hear the difference, it's quieter. The Flux S. Have a look at my review on that, it works. It's good training, but it's a little labored in a pedal stroke. A bit harder to kick it over. The Denny Ute Muster is over. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it back online. I'm bringing it back. Uh, thoughts on Cam Jeffers DQ? Discussed in the podcast coming up. Uh, nothing, I'm not involved in it at all. I've discussed rules and regulations in esports for years, right down to code level inspection comments. Um, that's, I think, the very first true rule enforcement that we've seen applied. If you have any specific questions about it, let me know. But I'll just go on the facts that are known. Cam has admitted um, the sanction and accepted the sanction, so not much more to it, I don't think. Uh, no, anybody can access the mountain bike level, except me at the moment where I'm stuck in orbit. So as long as you have the app updated, you are good to go. Is the Elite Suto better than the Flux 2? Uh, the Suto is still a bit of an unknown at this point. We are still working through some firmware upgrades on the Suto. By we, I mean uh, Elite are sending, I've got a Suto. They're sending over firmwares to address a few issues I've raised. And I'm keen to get those nailed down before I do my full review of it. Uh, Flux 2. That's in the box next to me. I haven't gotten to the Flux 2 just yet. As always, if you can purchase locally and test ride, highly recommended. Smart trainers from any manufacturer can go wrong or can go right. You want to make sure with something that expensive and that heavy that you can uh, return it with no problems at all. Best smart bike? Nobody knows. No answers to that. Anybody telling you the answer hasn't ridden them all? I can't give an answer on that one yet. Mark Hodson. Oh, if anyone realized, I'm, I'm not meant to be stuck in this loop, but I am and I'm getting good training done, so watch out for my Strava ride after this. <laughs> Stupid question, I currently use a dumb trainer with a wheel on Cyclops train. I'm thinking about giving a kick a snap. Um, will I notice the resistance much? So going from a Cyclops dumb trainer to a kicker snap, which is an interactive smart trainer. Mark, yes, you will. The snap's probably the best wheel on trainer I've come across. Not without its flaws and faults, if you really dig hard enough. But if you're, if you just want to get on and go for a ride, sure. Test ride if you can. Um, Wahoo have a lot of experience stations. Make sure you can install your bike. If it's a through axle, you're going to need a through axle kit. Purchase locally, all good. Firmware updates coming from Elite then. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Will I wear out just one side of the tires doing this? Yes. <laughs> What's happening on the screen? I'm locked in orbit. I'm cutting laps. There's a magical mushroom that my little avatar wants to eat. He just cannot reach down far enough. So he keeps leaning to the side and doesn't come out of this. So unfortunately, I'm stuck in a loop at the moment. Hmm. What trainer am I using? I'm using the Suto. Clicking some data. This is a warm up for a Lama Lab test. Is there a way to simulate the resistance profile of the Muon on the Suto? Good question. That's one for Elite. You may be able to, given it's a stepper motor, you may be able to use the Elite app to change the, and go to level mode, change the level of the Suto uh, to maybe level one, two, or three, which will move the magnets into a certain level. And if you disconnect the power, you probably get a, a nice level uh, power curve from it, like a dumb trainer. Like the Muon. I'm guessing here, but that's 
That may work. Elite will have the answer of that. Slane did very well at the Nationals. Absolutely, Stephen Lane. One of my good mates, best man at my wedding. We trained for years and raced for years together. Slane still hitting the pedals very hard. Won the Masters Nationals TT here in Australia. Fastest time of the day across all age groups. Won the road race, earning him the Masters uh, Champion of Champions for Masters 2. And came second in the crit. Slane did very, very well. Super proud of his efforts. He's a coach. And if your coach can ride that well and put out that kind of power, he knows, he knows what he's doing. It's all good. Suto at the moment, uh, some niggles, which we're working through with the firmware. Now I really want to make sure that, um, yeah, I'm on the latest firmware. Oh, my little on-screen thing's not working here. Let me try and fix that. Uh, no comments on Cam Jeffers, I've spoken. Like, if there's any particular questions about the Cam Jeffers disqualification, let me know. In general, the facts are out there. He's accepted the sanction. It's unfortunate for everyone, I think. Uh, more on that on the podcast with Ray that we recorded last night, which I'll edit up tonight. But just sticking to the facts, there's, there's no winners in any of that. There really isn't. <clears throat> I don't believe Wahoo will, will be bringing out a new kicker this year. Wahoo's release schedule is always around Eurobike. Luke Patterson asks, are a couple of cheapish fans good enough for Zwift? Uh, can't seem to maintain power indoors. Are the Wahoo smart fans worth the dollar? Good question. Cooling indoors, very, very important. One of the mistakes I made early on was to put the fan straight in front of me. And this is when I was training for TTs indoors. And I was getting super low, practicing the super aero, shoulders in, trying to minimize my surface area with the fan in front of me. That's a waste of time. <laughs> if you put the fan off to the side, there's more surface area for the fan to pass and cool you down. Cooling indoors is really important. So I've had the two turbo uh, sun air fans, two or three of those off to each side. They've worked well for years. The Wahoo fan, again, I love. It's one of those things, yes, it is expensive. There's no question about that. It works very well because it's directional. Uh, it does go in front of you, but it, because it sort of tunnels that wind perfectly with your legs and torso and head, it's still in front of me. Yeah, I haven't got it turned on now because it's too loud for the, uh, the vibrate the desk. If you've got the money, yeah, kick, kick a fan. Or well, the headwind, sorry. But if not, there are the solutions out there. Those small, I'm looking over here at the sun air fan I've got further away. Kicker or kicker core, if you will not put out massive power, those units can still cop a punch. Massive, if you're doing 2000 watts, sure, but. Nah. Troy Collett mentions Francis K will be in Adelaide tomorrow night. Those boys are doing really well. They will be here in Ballarat in a few days. Stay tuned on that, we'll catch up with the guys. My favorite between the Tax and the Wahoo bikes, uh, Felicity, stay tuned, stay tuned. The, um, the Tax bike is just over there. The headwind will work with Tax. It can pair to a heart rate sensor or a speed sensor or just manual operation. I'm enjoying the, the, the comments, so unfortunately what's happening here is I'm stuck in a circle loop. I still want to get my training in, um, but these live streams are about the comments. Any questions people have, let me know where you're from, what you're up to, what bike you ride. I'm guessing most people are heading into the trainer season soon, so there'll be a lot of trainer questions come along. A fan with a remote control, yeah, for sure. You cannot get off. Once you've started a ride, a race, a um, an interval session, a workout, you don't want to get off. So I still have an Arlek, which is a power, simple power board. You press on or off. That's all it really needs. Uh, Duke Boy 82, looking at getting a smart trainer soon. Awesome. Would I recommend using a daily carbon frame bike or previous alloy frame bike for regular indoor training? Entirely up to you. There's no problems at all using carbon bikes indoors. If your carbon bike is going to break on an indoor trainer when used correctly, it's going to break outside. 
I've used carbon bikes for years indoors, trying my best to break them, because it would make a great video. Hasn't happened. If you have the luxury of owning a second bike, it can be permanently on your trainer, great. And uh, yeah, but there's no issues, there's no, if breaking bikes indoors on carbon bikes indoors was a thing, there'd be a meme of it. The internet would light up, we'd see pictures every day on Zwift riders and things, so that's not happening. Uh, Tolma, does the Wahoo clan work with a Tax Neo? No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't interact with the, the signal to go up and down, and the rear dropouts in the Tax Neo don't pivot. Looking forward to getting the toaster for review on my timeline. Yes, the uh, Elite Tuo. That will be coming soon. People who have ridden it say they've got the um, the gear ratios internally correct on it. And it feels like a really good trainer to ride. So stay tuned on that. Al Jalal from Bahrain. Good, good afternoon there, I think. My time zones are right. Best app on a budget? Depends what you want. If you want social group rides and things, obviously Zwift is where a lot of people are at. You can join big group rides and group workouts and things. Train rides and real rides, you've got uh, Sufferfest, Full Gaz. Uh, what else have I forgotten? Obviously Trainer Road. If you jump over to gplama.com and go to Trainer Software Pricing, there's a whole list there of all the software that I know about and all the monthly pricings, the yearly discounts, and where they're at. Why am I going in circles? I've encountered a small bug after doing the mountain bike route, and I don't want to stop. <laughs> okay, Alex M is having trouble with the Dorito. Not holding steady power during intervals, especially the short ones. Yeah, erg mode into short intervals is always tough. Is it worth upgrading to the Neo 2? Well, first of all, the Neo 2 Definitely a step above the Doretto. The Neo 2 being the top of the range, well, previous top of the range, the two T's now aiming to be up there. The Doretto is more mid-range. A tip with the Doretto is to use the small ring. Slow the flywheel speed down in erg mode. It seems to have a really good working zone between, I think it's like 10 to 15 km an hour to about 25 to 30 km an hour. Physical flywheel speed there in person. In game speed, Simulated speed, it's that, that's something different entirely. But if you're not doing uh, your erg mode in the small ring, give that a shot. So here you go. If you're looking at punching massive power though, short erg intervals are tough. I've done a video on custom workouts on Zwift where it breaks out of erg mode into sim mode so you can do real punchy efforts. Um, a few tricks around that though. There's no perfect solution. But if you've got the cash, Neo 2, you should be able to pick one of those up on sale at the moment. Now the 2T is out. As always, purchase locally, support your local bike store, test ride if you can, and enjoy. Uh, Henrik asked, any news on the Neo 2T and the accuracy? Not yet. That can't be far off. Pete M asks, the question us guys want to know, does size matter? Does flywheel size matter? It's not the size that counts, it's how you use it. And that's, that's actually right. That's in reference to the internal gearing. So you can have a massive flywheel and really small gearing. It's hard to turn over. Or a small flywheel, big gearing, it's easy to turn over. Or a heavy flywheel that's small. So size is physical size or weight. It really depends. Something like the Magnus has a flywheel size of, I think it's 1.1 kilos. Super light, packs a massive punch. And then the, the Kicker 18, huge flywheel of, let me think, is it 18 pounds? Is it near on seven or eight kilos? And that packs a massive punch to accelerate up. Uh, so flywheel size does matter, but what matters more is the design of the, the trainer. Again, if you can test ride, I know it's hard to test ride, but if you can find a good bike saw that allows you to jump on, you're good to go. Loving the questions guys, um, I'm currently circle working because I've encountered a bug after the mountain bike course. Still want to get a good training session in, so these questions are great. 
Do you need a certain number of stars or time to earn the mountain bike? Oh, uh, I had eight and a half stars when I earned the mountain bike. I think so. Zwift Insider may have the, the, uh, the lowdown on that. ZwiftInsider.com should have all the details. Uh, is the Neo 2T Zwift certified? I'm not sure, Danny. I'm not sure the certification uh, process for Zwift to give it a tick. I, at this point in time, I wouldn't give it a Llama Lab certification tick. It's almost there. The Neo bike does have the Neo 2T internals, I believe, yes. Uh, what do I say about the Esports World Championships planned for next year? I say, bring it on. I say it's going to be very tough for them to regulate. I've said months, years ago, when money is involved, when real things are involved, things get, uh, things change a lot. And we've seen that this week. We're not playing computer games. It's, it's, a, it's delivered on the computer game, but what's being delivered on the computer game is an official sanctioned event. And there are other entities who need to uphold their integrity. And we saw that this week with British Cycling. I enjoyed the worlds. I did, there was the um, replay on this afternoon here. And it was good to go back watching from 50Ks out of the men's race to watch where Mads actually you know, broke away or got away from the group knowing that he won. And then just seeing his tactics in the last 50Ks and where he positioned himself. And you watch a race really differently knowing who wins. That was good to see. Strong ride, I mean he deserved to win. There's no question. Anybody who finished that race? All right, not for too long here. If you have any other questions, throw them in. Oh, Philip donates uh, five pounds. Thanks so much. Coffee's on me tomorrow. And look at the glowing llama we have down there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Much appreciated, mate. CVRK has put up big prize money for their racing. Yeah, you gotta be careful doing that. Now, this is not CVRK specific, what I'm about to say, it's anything. You throw chips out, seagulls will come, and seagulls will go. You can't throw chips out in the form of cash, hoping to build a colony of seagulls. They'll go elsewhere. So I'm concerned with any sports offering big sums of cash with obviously the business intention of growing their base, and their user base. But you're gonna get the seagulls coming in, fighting over the what it's on offer, and taking off. There's more to this than money. And investors know that, the investors aren't silly. Thanks, Phil, I will have the coffee, I'll enjoy that. That's enough here in Australia, with the conversion at the moment, because the Australian dollar is going to crap. That'll get two coffees. So that's Vaughn and my copies covered tomorrow. Really appreciate it. Have I seriously done about 15 Ks in a circle? <laughs> if this doesn't register on Strava, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> uh, 136 people watching me do five meter circles. Panos from Crete, how you doing mate? What's the weather like up there? I'm sure it's gonna be better than here. Summer's coming here, and we are so excited. So it's warm, you know the warm day? I think everyone's got warm days at the moment, given the season we're in. Ah, the Neo 2T, not yet. I put it on a wait and hold list. It should be a, a firmware fix, but what I found is in summary there, the hardware fixes for the Neo 2T to make it a more powerful unit, which it is without that tire slip, massive punch in sprints. It's too, it's too punchy. So erg mode's a bit too, it's kind of like walking a bulldog on a lead. You can take a chihuahua, nice and smooth, that chihuahua's going nowhere. Take a bulldog out, you're like, holy shit, well, get back to your firmware update. That was me patting the dog, anybody from Peter watching. 
Uh, can I change the drone? <laughs> Mike, I sure can. Does everyone want to spew? Because we can go full screen. I've still got the questions coming up. Actually, that's probably a better one. I'm sorry if I... Blown everyone's mind at the moment by just going. Have I had much time with Zwift running? A little bit. <laughs> Cutting circles. A little bit, not much with Zwift running. Um, I had a treadmill here for a while to test out. It was a bit of fun. Running's hard work. Running indoors is even harder work. I was across the tech. I'm fascinated by how it all works. The pedometers, the uh, treadmill trackers, the treadmills themselves. There's really not a lot of technology happening there though for me to continue covering that. Um, for example, Ray doesn't cover it. Ray, if it was a thing in the sports tech space, Ray would be all over it. It's just not, we're not seeing a lot of treadmills out there. Cutting up the dirt. I'm trying to U-turn. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many thumbs down this video is going to get for me just doing circle work, but this is about the questions that are coming through, so I do appreciate that. These rides are more about uh, me catching up with people who subscribe to the channel or have any questions about indoor cycling. I live and breathe this shit daily, 24 7. So I'm happy to help anybody else out who sees what I'm up to. Maybe wants to give it a try, has a few questions. And if you can get half as much out of indoor cycling as I've got, you'll love it. Absolutely love it. I've used it for years for racing training. <laughs> My little guy doing circles. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> as I say, I, I, yeah, I truly love this technology. And it's easy for me to talk about things rather than myself and stories. Oh, I'll throw in a story every now and then about my racing days or whatever else is going on. You'll get some llama drives. Maybe some little llama screams in the background. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that looks so stupid, it's funny. Drifting on Zoom. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in this camera mode. So if you have any questions, even if you don't have questions now, any video that I've done, I watch all the comments for those. People asking questions on videos from two or three years ago. I still jump on those and help out where I can. The FedEx man, <laughs> Tom, good question. Did the FedEx man deliver the tax bike? No. And that story, Eric Min says right on, hey Eric, found a bug mate. <laughs> The FedEx guy, uh, it's in the Zwiftcast, it's not the Zwiftcast, the Fit File podcast I do with Ray. The story behind the tax bike. Let me cut, it involves a knock at the door, a non-delivery, a phone call to somebody 400 kilometers away, uh, nobody helping me out, me swearing very loudly, and that prompting someone to go, can I help you out? It's the Australian way. Stay tuned for the Fit File podcast where we cover that and more because Ray had a good story with his uh, kicker bike delivery too. Yeah, I feel sorry for anybody riding past my avatar. But what I do, like I'm still getting the kilometers, I'm still getting the XP. I'm going to hit the hour for this, why not? Uh, Harrison asked when's the Suto review coming? Um, Zoon, Zoon, he's liking if you on that. Currently working through some firmware updates that I want to be across because when we do a video, when it's on the web, you can go back and change things or update things or notify things. Early on, if you do a video on earlier firmware, that's it. So there have been some firmware updates that have come along just after I filmed the unboxing and everything, so that's all done. So I'm just waiting for those to get nailed down. 10k donuts bicycle Sunday. You, I just rode through that guy. <clears throat> 408 KJSD asks, shall I go back to the uh, questions up here? Oh, that's not working either now. Back to the questions, this is the most fun part. Brand new to Zwift today, welcome aboard. Any issues using the supply cassette on the kicker or is it better to swap out with a genuine Shimano in my case? 
Uh, the kicker is supplied with, I think, a 105 cassette. Maybe a SRAM PG50. Technical details, it's the lower end cassette. If you swap to an Altegra or Durace, if you own a few yachts and are a dentist and want to run Durace indoors, um, you'll find it a little bit quieter. Training wise makes no difference, accuracy wise, no real difference. But you get I swap over to Altegra cassettes indoors. It's the middle ground between dentistry and poverty. So I'm just joking, but they are a little quieter, a little bit better to change. I use Altegra outdoors too. Oh, the map in the top corner is, <laughs> is going on. Donut achievement. It's got to be. I mean, how many laps of it was um, the volcano? 25 laps of the volcano circuit. Paul Lowe tried getting a Lazy Susan today. They're not available for local hardware from the local hardware store. Uh, local homewares. Try your... Let me think around the world. In Australia, we have Kmart. US would be... Uh, is it Bed and Beyond? Bed Bath and Beyond? Yeah, Velodrome mode. Hell yeah. I've unlocked it. In the UK... God, I don't know. Uh, places that sell towels. Um, 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 that's me trying to mime a table spread, um, tablecloths, knives, forks, etc. They should have Lazy Susans. I'm surprised in this day and age they're still called Lazy Susans. Um, I'm amazed that Susan hasn't come out on social media being very offended by that. She may not be lazy. Maybe the lazy sausage or something like that. Little offense sausages. For this though, what trainer would I recommend you? I would recommend dropping in with your bike to your local bike store, having a chat about what they sell and what they support, and going from there. You don't have to buy on the spot. You get some ideas about what fits your bike. They'll talk about what's compatible, what they support, and from there you can wheel your bike back out. No purchase required. Jump on YouTube and have a look at a few of the models they discussed. If you like what you see, Drop back and pick one up. Dave, um, I've hit a bug, mate, and I'm just going in circles. It happened, I was gonna say way back down the road, but it happened just here. <laughs> and I didn't wanna waste a session, so I pretty much just switched to the, switched to the Q and A session. I'm having fun talking to everyone here. I can't U-turn out of this. We've tried. <clears throat> James states, I quit the mountain bike ride halfway through, lost his total ride miles. Yeah, that's what happens. The reason for Zwift not being able to teleport you and keep it as the same ride is that the legacy thing was, which isn't the case anymore, but it still exists in the code. In Strava, if you go from one point to the other in Strava and don't ride that midsection, it'll still draw a line and give you the kilometers. For when people don't turn their garments on at the cafe, turn it on down the road, and they want that extra line or the kilometers. Uh, that comes over to the virtual world as well. So that's why Zwift have, in the past, chosen to cut those rides. So if you do a warm up ride that's over 3Ks, it'll get uploaded. Your event ride will teleport you somewhere else. Go again. The mountain bike one should do the same in theory, but I'm guessing that's an edge case where they haven't tested it. It should at least get you there to, if it's over 3Ks, then upload that right if you quit out and start again. It's a bit of a mess. 2019 shouldn't be a mess. Okay, question from, I think it's Didla Van Rompain. Looking for a good indoor training table. Could have more layers and like a bit wider than a standard Wahoo table. Any suggestions? Uh, the Wahoo table is the one that's in front of me at the moment. I was going to say, you could use one of these tables and just put a bigger top on it. There's an option, but the up down buttons are on the top. You could drill some holes, maybe get creative. Um, I don't know of anything else that's convenient that's larger. 
probably the maximum size I'd want in front of me here, which you can't see on the camera. Almost hit the hour. In a circle. Steering on the kicker climb. Yeah, I've got that larger lazy Susan because as I mentioned in my video, it's the turn, the pivot point that you need to get right. So here, but then the climb moves and that pivot point will move. So it may not be realistic to put it on a lazy Susan. It might be better to put it on a too protective or slippery surfaces to protect the base and have it slide that it needs to be on an angle. If not, you're gonna pull the bike forward because of the fork rake. Those handlebars are 36 Cs, yes. Best direct drive on a budget, I have a snap. If you have a snap, you're familiar with the Wahoo ecosystem, kick a core, will be the upgrade from that. Dog grooming table, naif naif. Who let the dogs out? That's a great idea. Patent that as the indoor Snoop Dogg. How do I get the Tron bike? There's a baited question. To officially get the Tron bike, you have to select the in-game mission, which I'll show you because I'm just doing circles anyway. Here. And you've got to go. So this is the mission, so you can, sorry, miss it, missing. There's in-game challenges here. Climb Everest, ride California, tour Italy, and one they haven't unlocked for a couple of years. That needs to be selected. You need to climb 50,000 meters of vertical gain over as long as it takes you to do. And once you've successfully done that, you will unlock the Tron bike. It takes a long time. It took us a while to figure that out. I'm not quite sure who figured it out. Was it Dave Owen? Hmm. I'd like to know, we might uh, pose that one to the Zwiftcast. Who figured out the unlock of the Tron bike? Because people were unlocking it and didn't quite know what the deal was. Those were the days. What happened to the green mountain bike my neighbor left me? That was from the... That was three years ago now, from the Melbourne Roubaix. Vaughn and I both uh, took those, we fixed those bikes up, rode them for the Melbourne Roubaix, 40 kilometer ride around Melbourne, and we didn't pay much for them or much to service them. We took them to a, there was a, there was a fence in one of the northern neighborhoods, and it said free bike, because someone had obviously left a bike there previously and spray painted free bike. So we took both of these bikes there and just left them on the fence. They were gone within hours. But that bike's somewhere else. Troy Collett, you're close, mate. 18 months to get the Tron bike, yep. Slide sheet for the kicker climb. Is that for when you fall off the kicker climb? Because you're trying to do something really weird with it? And then they can just slide you out into the ambulance? All right, we're over the hour now. I don't think I'm going to be able to milk this much more. <laughs> I'll hit 21 Ks and we'll call it a day. But it's been good. Thanks everyone for uh, dropping by for the chat. That has turned a otherwise successful single loop of the mountain bike course into a solid training session. And it was good to catch up with everybody as well. As I said before, any other questions you have now or you think about them during the week, jump onto my uh, YouTube channel and ask away. Um, I check out all the comments on any of the videos that I've done. This will be the 1,000th video I've uploaded to YouTube as well. Some of them are other private videos from years ago, other junk that isn't on the channel, but it is the 1,000th upload to YouTube. Huge stuff, takes a while to get there. I've got a countdown timer here on the live stream status. I'm a bit nervous, it's gonna cut me off. We'll keep going just for a little bit as I call down. Anyhow, thanks for dropping along. Um, that was the Lazy Susan. If you rewind at the start of this video, you'll see me having a bit of trouble with the accelerometers in this um, iPhone 6. 
The iPhone XS was much better with the quad lock. It was just a bit um, a bit twitchy. You saw me sort of head off to the side. And of course I'm going to blame the tools rather than me. It's probably me. <laughs> but it's all good. Um, if you did work out to use a heli course for meters on the drum like Simon Mills, good, good tip, good tip. So if that's all you're doing is, uh, is erg mode workouts, um, aim yourself at, if you select the jungle circuit and then go to Elp the Zwift and then just head up, um, you can do your intervals on and off in erg mode, which won't be affected by the sim mode, but you'll still get the vertical elevation in the virtual world. So that's a way to rack up the meters for the Tron bike. But at the end of the day, you still got to do the effort to climb those hills. So it takes a while. Oh, everyone's getting classy with the, uh, the emojis. First one to uh, put up a llama emoji wins. And then I'm out of here. I've got to go have some dinner. It is 9th. Daylight savings kicked in today. Woohoo, which is good for us, probably bad for everybody else in the rest of the world, but we put our clocks forward, which confuses everything. That means summer is coming. Cool. Well, this trainer is bedded in. That was the goal of this. There'll be a llama lab test on it next. Don't tell me I'm at like 21.9 Ks, because I'm going to have to ride 21.2. We are good. Let's stop on the two devices. Uh, Vector 3's on at the moment. Oh, um, I did mention on the podcast that I haven't hit publish on just yet. Uh, Vector 3's have a firmware update this week, 3.80, fixing a lot of issues. Now that's been two years since the Vector 3's are out. And they do address a lot of side, side case issues. Um, hang on, next, next, next. So many nag screens after finishing a ride. We are done. Um, I was getting a few weird issues. I'll do a video on just that firmware update. Um, as soon as I turned the... 8.30 on before it connected to the Garmin Vector 3 since already pulled the firmware update down. It'll pull down the binary itself for the peripherals it has connected to it via Garmin, which is super cool. And this head unit did the firmware update to the pedals. I like that, and it just worked. Rather than have to pull out things and plug them in. When things work, it's all good. So 3.80 if you have Vector 3s. And I've been using the Vector 3s for the last week. Three weeks? Four weeks? To keep the Asiomas happy, because if the Asiomas are true and trusted, how do we know they're true and trusted? So I'll switch over to other pedals and see if the results I'm getting are the same, then we'll switch back. Because things, yeah, I've got to trust what works works and really put it to the sword. Look at that. You can actually see people on the mountain bike course there. We need some broadcaster tools so we can just watch people crash into the uh, into the side of the mountain bike course. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's dinner time. Thanks for coming along for this one. Um, it's been a bit of fun. Look out for the Strava ride of this. I'm going to have to get a screen grab. It's just me doing circles. I hope Strava counts those Ks because I really did them. James Guppy, you win. It's all llamas. Have a good night.